Welcome to the live stream. We're going to be focused on American style mahjong at mahjong time. If you haven't tried mahjong time yet, send me an email. My email address is in the video description. If I have a 30 day VIP code, I'll send it to you so that you can try it out for 30 days at a VIP membership level which means you'll have lots of dragon coins to play with. There's more about that information when I send you the email with instructions, so you'll get to learn all about that. And you'll get to see a little bit about it during this live stream. If you're watching the repost, welcome. I hope you enjoy this session. We're gonna go live now. Let's see if we can get some good games in tonight. Welcome to the live stream. We're going to be playing American style Mahjong at Mahjong time. I'm gonna check my health. Anytime I turn to the left, it's because I'm checking the health of the stream and I'm also monitoring chat, so bear with me. We have green health, so we're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. This is the Mahjong time website. Once you sign up, you will be launched into the lobby, which is where you can see the different versions of Mahjong that are offered there. Hong Kong style, Taiwanese, and uh, Mahjong competition rules, Ricci and American style. Those are the styles they support right now. So there are gonna be different rooms that you can enter to play any given style there. Tonight, we're gonna be focused, as I said earlier, on American style Mahjong. Hopefully we'll be able to find a, a table. We're just gonna go ahead and join auto six. That means that this is an auto pass, which I'll explain if anybody is not familiar with auto pass. And then also six means that you have six seconds to make a decision with um, discards, whether or not you wanna claim them, and also picks. When you pick a tile, you have about six seconds to make a decision. If you don't make a decision in time, the game will toss your tile. So you really have to learn how to make quick decisions, which is one reason why I like to do those Charleston sprints. Learn how to make quick decisions. Even if you make a mistake, you can recover. So try not to get anxious about that. So hopefully we'll have some examples of that happening. Even avid players sometimes run up the clock and end up not making a, a decision in time. I've done it many times. Welcome to the live stream. Hello there. Hi, Chris, Nancy, Maureen, Kathleen. Good to see you again. Hopefully we'll get to play some good games here. I'm hoping for some really good examples of strategy, including joker bait. I get so many questions about joker bait and a lot of people have never even heard of the term. I mean, they may be using joker bait. They just may not have learned about the actual term joker bait which was coined incidentally by Tom Sloper of Sloperama. If you don't know about Sloperama yet, Google it. It's a great resource. Looks like we're getting ready to go into a game. Hi, Josephine. Here we go. We're gonna play now. I'm gonna turn down my sound a little bit. So I got to play Mahjong on Saturday with a couple new people and a good friend of mine and had a really great day. I broke a streak. Oh my goodness, I, I won several hands and it felt so good. Although, you know, it was one of those days where you start feeling guilty for winning. But um, I was trying to play some hard hands and they came in. So it was a really great day. Okay, so for this set of tiles, I'm thinking evens, two, four, six, eight. So I'm gonna give up the nine, one north. I don't wanna do a three, nine. Okay, we have a couple questions. Uh, hi, Elizabeth. Uh, let's see. She says the game, her game's gone up a level. That's awesome. Oh, uh, may the jokers be with you. Let's hope. Okay, hi, Cheryl from South Carolina. The game yesterday was really good. I did, oh my gosh, I, I won an embarrassing amount of money. So yeah, it was a good day. Okay, so I'm thinking we could maybe play a two, four, six, eight hand here. Two, four, six, eight. We have tiles to pass, so we don't have to pick a hand yet. Maybe a two, four, six, eight pair hand. 
Nancy says um, you introduced your group to the term joker bait. Oh, great. What did they think about it, Nancy? Because a lot of people don't really understand how to um, benefit from the idea. It really is all about timing because you could be sitting there with a pair, but you've got to wait and really gauge what's happening at the table. Okay, so here we have a 9-7 South, 9-7 South. I'm thinking I'm going to pass it. It's a little bit risky passing a 9-7, but I have all 2, 4, 6, 8 right now. I'm thinking if we can get an 8 crack and an 8 dot, we could play a pair hand or maybe a 2 bam. Yeah, I'd like to use these cracks. 2, 4, 6, 8. I think I better get my card out. Okay, the two, four, six, eight, second hand down. If the pair hand doesn't come in, we could play the second hand down under evens. And I think we're stronger with the cracks because we have two multiples there. Uh, let's see, Chris says, you played Thursday and got two red dots on your card. One was a quint, awesome. That probably felt good. Nancy says, her level has improved already. Very good, excellent. And everyone's using joker bait. That's fabulous. And that is, um, you know, I did not coin that term. Go to Sloperama if you want to learn all kinds of things about Mahjong. I mean, that, that was one of the big sources that I went to when I was learning and branching into a bunch of different versions. Really, really good resource. I'll put a link to it below the video description after the live stream because it really is a great place to find information about all kinds of Mahjong and even information about tiles in the history of the game. So I've really enjoyed it. Now it is a little, a bit of a challenge to navigate. It is um, kind of an index format. So you really have to know what you're looking for um, to, to find the information. If you do have a hard time on the site, just Google what you're looking for and in the results, look for Sloperama or include in your keywords, Sloperama. So that's how I would do it. Okay, so we have tiles we can pass. We did get a lot of consecutive run opportunities here, but I really wanna leverage the 2468 multiples here. Hi, Shirley. Welcome to the live stream. Hi, Big Gero. I don't know if I keep forgetting how you pronounce that. Big, Remind me how you pronounce your name. Uh, I know you've been learning uh, Cantonese style, so I've been really eager to hear how it's going with Cantonese style or Hong Kong Mahjong. Big Gero? Is it Big Gero? I don't know. I just don't want to mispronounce it. So I'm hoping that I don't take uh, uh, or pick up on that losing streak again. It seems like I'm not doing very well online, uh, but in person, things have been going really well. Gosh, I'm almost tempted to switch to consecutive run. Oh my goodness, this is just not going well. I don't think I've gotten a single keeper. Maybe we got a two, I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and pass these on. We're going to pay it forward. So if nothing else, we can play the two, four, six, eight, second hand down, even though there's a gap, we have no eight dots right now. Welcome to the live stream. If you're just joining us, we're playing American style Mahjong at Mahjong time. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pass three. Oh, they only went two. That's perfect because I, I typically don't like to pass two wins together. Marine, uh, let's see. Oh, nice. You guys are playing together on Mahjong time. That's great. Okay, so we're going to pass a nine and an east. If you pass winds, try to pass east and west with odds and north and south with evens if you can. Oh, we got more winds. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just discard those right away. So, winds. We need evens. Okay, Nancy says, can a beginner play on this site? Absolutely. You absolutely can. We got a keeper. We got a flower. Okay, so as a beginner on this site, you want to start in Mahjong school. That is where you can get used to the interface. 
basically all the different settings, the prompts, exchanging jokers, organizing your hand. You can get used to all that in Mahjong School. Then you want to play in fun games. We got a two right there, two, four, six, eight. Okay, two, four, six, eight. Okay, we're going to have to make a decision here pretty soon. Uh, so anyway, you're going to play in Mahjong uh, School first and then Fun Games. And then in Fun Games, you want to look for the eight second games. There's a column. Uh, I don't remember what the name of the column is, but it's numbers. And it's basically how long you have before you... We're not claiming anything. We're going to stay concealed because I have no idea what hand I'm playing. But you want to, oh, we got a discard there. Now we're going to have to decide here. Here's two, four, six, eight, no gaps. So I'm going to give up the four crack next. And we're going to hope to draw in two, uh, two dot or six dot and play the two, four, six, eight pair hand. Two, four, six, eight pair hand is the second one down under singles and pairs. So um, you want to look for the number column. Let's get rid of that four crack. Now I'm kind of considering using or playing the very first hand under 2468. We still don't have to make a decision yet. Nine but um, anyway, um, you want to play a game with a long. Oh, there's a six dot. We're going to keep that. Okay, so two we'll characters. get rid of the two crack and then maybe the six bam after that. We need to pair up the two bam and the four bam. That's going to be critical. Right now, there's one four bam out, so we need to keep an eye on that. There, are, There's also a six dot out right now. Okay, we just got a joker. Because we got a joker, I may give up on the pair hand. We'll see. Um, so anyway, you want to look for a game. Okay, let's go ahead and Kong it. Let's go ahead and give up on the pair hand. That was going to be... Uh, if we miss that opportunity, we would need more jokers Seven in order to characters. play the first hand. So because of the pung of sixes, I decided to go ahead and leverage that joker and take the eight bam. Now we have joker bait. The six cracks eight are joker characters. bait. So we're going to hold on to those as long as possible. Seven characters. Let's see what we get. Five crack. So I want to hold on to those to the end of the third wall Five. if I can. Of course, I'd rather pick my two bam, four bam and get ready to win, but that's how joker bait works. You have to wait as long as you can until everybody's getting desperate for tiles and they'll put out a, a joker with their exposure. Oh, there's a joker. So we really don't need the joker bait. What we really need right now is a two bam and a four bam. Okay, so going back to playing at Mahjong time, if you're a beginner, you want to look for games that have a long decision time okay now that is not good because now there's two four bams out we need that four bam um so yeah i think i i don't remember when after this game we'll go to the lobby and we'll look and see what the games are and i'll point them out to you okay let's get rid of the six crack we have everything we need at the moment. You know, I'm kind of tempted to switch to one suit Kong hand. Six, seven, eight Kongs. This is where knowing the card really helps because since there's two four bams out, we may, this hand may go dead. Let's just wait and see. I am not going to take that. If we go with six, seven, eight Kongs, then we can maybe use another joker. So we'll see what happens. A beginner 10 second game. Okay, that's good. You can also create a game and I can show you how to do that too. I need to create a video on how to do that. I think Slava might have a video that explains how to create a custom table. But you can create a game, the longest decision time available is 10 seconds and of course that's going to be a longer game so keep that in mind oh we got the eight dot eight oh so much for the pair hand all right so i hope that helped but you can totally play here as a beginner that's not a problem <laughs> 
six characters. So we'll see what comes in. If a four bam comes in, One we might be better off playing hung. the two, four, six, eight hand because there's already a six bam out Five. also. That went out early in the game when I was still focused on the pair hand. White dragon. Nine bam, we don't need. Nine so nine after this game, we'll look at the lobby and check out the tables and I'll try to explain it a little more. Green but dragon. try not to feel intimidated about it. The community here is gracious. I have never been harassed or criticized for anything. And I've been playing here. Okay, we're not ready for that. We don't need a three bam. Uh, so I, I've never had a bad experience here. I know some people have, but I think it's far and few between. So try not to feel intimidated by it. It is a different feel playing online. You do have to get used to it, and it is a faster game typically. Um, so you want to be prepared for that. Okay, that's my OCD. I like having certain flowers um, because these flowers kind of match because there's more red in them. Too Sorry, much. I know that's kind of strange, but yeah, that's how my mind works. Um, yeah, we don't want that. So anyway, um, if you have never tried Mahjong Time, I can give you a 30-day VIP code. Now, from time to time, I may not have them available, but right now I do. So if you send me an email, I can send you a 30-day VIP code so you can come and try it out. And when you join as a VIP member, you can play at any table. I believe that is correct. Sometimes I forget. You might need to play in a marathon. I believe though when you sign up as a VIP, you automatically get a white belt with a green stripe. And I have a video all about that. When I send instructions about using the VIP code, that is all in the instructions. And I've done some videos and also Slava has videos on Mahjong time. And I believe I have a link to those videos as well. So if you're a visual learner, there's, there are a lot of videos that can help you get used to playing online. And it really is a great source of entertainment and it's a great place to practice your game. You can improve your, your live playing by playing online and practicing different strategies online. And then you can apply them in a live game. So keep it in mind and try not to feel intimidated. Uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> so Big Euro says, I've been trying to talk for my wife into learning how to play. <laughs> you need to learn how to type. Yeah, me too. Sometimes it's hard to multitask at the computer. Okay, the four BAM is still available, believe it or not, and no two BAMs are out. So the two, four, six, eight hand is still viable. And there's one seven BAM out. So both of these hands are viable. I may at this point have to switch to defense though, because this is just not coming in. Three characters. And some, uh, the player to my right threw a joker. So I, I may, oh, I'm gonna get rid of the two bam. Oh, that's a fresh tile. Two bam, bam. Oh, I got lucky. Oh, I did not want to throw a flower Six at this five. stage of the game. I'm just thinking I'm gonna switch to defense. We can still play the six, seven, eight Kong hand if we get a joker two jokers, which is highly yeah. unlikely. Okay, there's the seven bam, if you can believe that. I just don't wanna throw a flower right now. There's only one, oh no, two, three, four, there's four flowers out right now. Yeah, it's pretty dangerous throwing a flower at this stage of the game. Four okay, you, um, Big Euro says, I like playing Mahjong. Okay, South, nobody wants. You like playing Mahjong, it's helping you learn. Just need to understand the scoring. Okay, good. Um, I am. I have added something new to the scoring for my Asian versions. I'm starting to use tiles to show the calculation bit. So hopefully that will help you. Two bamboos. So we have a joker we can discard here. I'm gonna discard the joker and go, oop. Oh no, close, discard, thank you. Oh, see, I wasn't fast enough. That's what happens when you're not fast enough. Thankfully, that was a, a safe tile. Okay, the player to my right, let's take a peek if we can. 
The player to my right, I don't know why they threw a joker so early. It looks like they were trying for the big year hand and it did not come in. They couldn't get dragons, it looks like. Do you see all the one, two, eight? Over here, they were trying for uh, one, two, three, four, Pung Pung, Kong Kong, and two suits, the second hand down under consecutive run. And then over here, they were ready to win. Uh, they needed a nine dot to win. So that was um, a good game. Let's go ahead and see if we can get into another. Oh, you know what? I forgot we were going to look at the lobby. So let's do that real quick. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you need to understand the scoring at Mahjong Time. Mahjong Time scoring for Hong Kong style is Hong Kong old style. So my videos are aligned with the scoring at Mahjong Time. Okay, so here is where the time limit is. It's the third column over, and there are right now no 10 second tables. We have a five, uh, two fives. We have one, two, three, four, four, six second tables, and the rest are eight. And to create uh, a, a table, basically you, cr you click new game. Let me just see. There's a button here, right here, new game. And this is where you would select that your whatever style it is that you want to play with. And then you would give it a name. So let's just call it Yellow Mountain. And we'll put a very low entry fee, 250 dragon coins. And which gets nixed when you hit the um, advanced settings. And then we can say, you know, only the host can seat the player. So like if you want to create a table for friends only, you can say friends only, etc. But this is where you can say the time limit, 10 seconds. And then uh, let's see, the minimum, minimum points, that doesn't apply to American style. For the belt, I believe the, the belt is automatically a white belt with a green stripe. So let's see what happens here. The minimum belt has to be a white belt with a green stripe. Let's create the table. Okay, so here's Yellow Mountain. It's a 10 second table. So that's how you create a custom table and it will be eight seconds. Now, these custom games will only last as long as they're used. If they're not continually used, they will be inactivated and they won't be visible any longer. And then you can just create a new table again. But um, the, the a lot of the 10 second tables are, are a bit rare. So you can just create one and it's really that easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit this table and you could, you'll be able to see it here. So there it is right there, Yellow Mountain. You can see I have it highlighted in blue. You can see the time limit says 10 seconds and that the entry fee is only 250, which is nice if you are on a free account because You've got to pay these dragon chips in order to play. You got to pay to play. Any other questions about Mahjong time? Let me know. And of course, you could look for my helpful tips video series. Okay, let's see here. I don't see that we have any more questions at the moment. And if you're just joining us, we are playing American style Mahjong tonight at Mahjong time. I'm going to go ahead and start another table because they're all taken up right now. Now there are marathons. I've, I was going to tell you that and warn you about that. Let me exit again. Sorry for the in and out there. Um, do you see right here where it says rounds and it has one round? That means that you play four games and that's going to take about an hour. So be sure that when you join a, four, uh, um, a table with one round that you're willing to spend that much time to play. You're going to play four games for American style. Uh, sometimes I mistakenly join a game and I really don't intend to play for a whole hour in one setting. So just be aware of that. And I explain all of that in, in my helpful tips video series. So try to look for that. And I'll put a link to it I'll have to remember, let me make a note real quick and I'll put a link to that. So I was going to add a link, links to Sloperama 
and um, Mahjong Time Helpful Tips. Okay, so I will add those links to the video description after the live stream. Okay, so let's see. Chris says, can anyone create a table or do you have to be VIP? Any, anybody can create a table, I believe. Since I'm a VIP, I can't test that. Actually, you know what? I can test it because I have another account that I use for demonstration purposes. So at the end of the live stream, if you remind me, uh, or if I remember, I'll log in as Fallon. That's my other avatar name, Fallon. I'll log in as Fallon and we'll go in and try to create a table and she's a brand new player. So that will be a really good test. Um, since we're waiting for a table, oh, no, we just got another, another player here. Um, if we're at another waiting point, I'll go ahead and log out and log in as Fallon. Okay, here we go, we're gonna play. So we had, we had a wall game. Let's see if we can get in a win. I would love to win. I always like to win at least one time per session. If I can win at least one game per session, at least I feel like I haven't completely wasted my time, which that's kind of negative, so sorry about that. Really, I think anytime you play Mahjong, there are benefits whether you win or lose. But winning feels good, don't you think? <laughs> okay, so here we have a pair of West and a South. Maybe we could play a news pair hand, and we do have a pair of ones. We could do little odds, one, three, five, or we could do something consecutive. Let's go ahead and pass six, nine, seven, one of each suit. So I think we're in between wins and dragons, one, three, five, and consecutive run. And when I kind of visualize my starting point, I leverage multiples. Whatever, wherever my pairs are, or pungs, what, whatever I have, and I look for the tiles that I have that can support them. And those are the categories I focus on. And then by process of elimination, I whittle down until I pick a hand when I run out of discards. In a nutshell, that's the strategy I play by. And more times than not, it works. Good success. So we picked up a north. So I'm thinking news pair hand maybe. We still don't have to commit. We have tiles to pass. Now we did get a one that has some like number as well as potential year tiles. So let's give up the three, uh, wait, uh, the four. We're gonna give up the four because we can do one, two, three with news pair hand. Okay, so let's see, Big Euro says, is this what they call the Charleston? Yes, the passing of tiles. You pass three tiles up to nine times. There are two Charlestons. The first one is obligatory, required, mandatory. The second one is optional. Any player can stop the second Charleston after the first left. So you go right across left, and that's when it can be stopped by any player for any reason. They do not have to announce the reason. Um, and you can stop it and then do what's called an optional cross where you negotiate with the player across from you. So we have tiles we can pass here. And, and so you do right across left, then you go left across right, and then an optional cross. So you pass um, three, six, eight times. I don't know why I thought nine three, six, nine, uh, eight times, three, six, eight, seven, three, six, seven times. So yes, that's the Charleston. And American style is the only one who does it, that, as far as I know. I believe, however, I have seen rules for Western rules, which is played in India and Britain. And they sometimes have what's called a goulash. And that's kind of like a Charleston. And we picked up another one. Let's see here. We have a nine. We do want to do the Charleston again. So we're between one, three, five. I think I do not want to pass a, a five, six, nine. I think that's terrible. I think we'll do the five, nine, two and keep the ones. So yeah, that's kind of the thing with the Charleston. Also Wright-Patterson, which is Air Force rules, uses the Charleston, but they do only one. 
right across left and then they're done. So American style is the predominant version that uses the Charleston. So here we have 653, we can pass those. It's a little risky being both consecutive and 369, but we need to make some headway here. This is not going well. I try to have four discards at the end of the Charleston for whatever category I'm gonna play. And I do not pick a hand. I pick a category at this level. Now, sometimes depending on what you have, it's very situational, you may or may not have to pick a hand early. So in this case, we're in between categories. We're at the category level here. Oh, we have another multiple with a six. So here we have a four, six, here's a five. So we have uh, one, three, four, six. Let's give up uh, four, six. Let's give up the one dot and that way we can pass one of each suit. And this is a hot mess right now. And yes, avid players, experienced players, advanced players end up with a hot mess sometimes. Okay, now we have a couple of sixes here. Let's pass, they want two tiles, that's perfect. We could pass a seven three and be safe. Seven three. So I would say we're in between the news pair hand. We do have some consecutive tiles here that we might be able to use if we get a five bam, we got a five bam. So we can do four, five, six, get rid of the one bams and focus on getting some wins in here. Okay, so we have five discards, which is, you know, we're kind of an underdog and we're playing a pair hand here. So let's see what happens. Okay, so Big Yermo, a Euro, Big Euro says, okay, we can get rid of the dot. If it, uh, if it makes it easier, you can tell me Big Dave. Oh, Big Dave, that's easier for me to remember because my husband's name is Dave. That's what I go by on Mahjong time, Big Dave. Okay, awesome. Okay, Big Dave, thank you. Big Dave, that is gonna be easy to remember. That's awesome. Where are you from? And I ask that because um, I would love to somehow connect and maybe play some Hong Kong Mahjong. Five I'm in North Georgia. Seven bamboos. We have tiles we can pass. I'm gonna keep the four six though. Oh, Texas, yeah, that's a bit of a drive. Five okay, we do not need that red dragon. I do have some friends in Texas who play Mahjong though. They play American style though. South wind. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this uh, chat and make sure I friend you. Or South I could wind. remind me after this and I'll add you to my friends list. I, need, I have work to do. I need to add a bunch of people to my friends list. So you can, you can have friends and find them and remember them. I'll show you how to do it. North wind. Oh, let's get rid of the one. We have a three now. Three, three, four, five, six. We might have to get rid of these winds. There's two Nine south, 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 and two norths. It's almost dead. Or I should say invalid. I don't like saying my hand is dead. I like saying maybe it's invalid. Nine oh, we don't need a nine dot. Okay, let's see, Irene asks, what setting is it where the discards are in a row like that? Okay, yeah, that, that is called random discard setting. And uh, that is in one of my helpful tips video. I'll show you after this, uh, when I show you how to make a friend, add a friend to your list, which is also in the helpful tips video series. But um, that is a setting under game settings. And you basically deselect random discards. Okay, the three bam went down and I needed that. So this four bam can go away at this point. This hand at the moment is still viable though we have a gap with no east and an east was just discarded. One dot. Okay, we can get rid of the one bam. So yeah, this hand is a flop at the moment. And yeah, that happens sometimes. And that's okay, you can't win them all. Really? 
I think that would be an, an unreasonable expectation to think you can win every game. From what I hear, 25% win is average every four games. Okay, we just got a West. There are none out. We have no dragons. Anytime I get a pung of wins like this, I think about a Quint. But we have no dragons, and we have uh, no jokers. Red dragon. Oh, you're welcome, Irene. So remind me after this game, and, and I'll show you how to do that. I could actually show you in-game. So, well, I don't want to miss a tile, even though I'm totally concealed right now. I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so Irene says, Mahjong Time School has really helped you. And it improved your playing. Very good. That's great. Joker. Oh, we got the East. Oh, no. The hand is dead because, or the hand is no longer valid. Or no, it's not that it's valid. It's invalid. The hand is invalid now because the third South is out. So we cannot use that. Now... There's one six dot out. We might be able to switch to east and west with sixes and use the four cracks as joker bait. So let's see if we could maybe draw in east and west with sixes or switch to defense. There's no shame in switching to defense at any time, really. It happens. Now we do have some three, four, five, six. Oh no, there's three, three cracks. Oh, there's a joker. Okay, that, that might help. There's one east out. Oh, now there's two six dots out. We're gonna have to watch that. So we've kind of been all over the place with this hand. And this is one way that you can practice switching hands. Finding a hand to switch to, but you gotta do it quick. You gotta be quick and um, when it, when you practice online and you're forced to make quick decisions, that does translate to a live game. And I'm telling you, your friends will appreciate it if you play a quicker game. I mean, most of us try to play a ga in a game that's friendly and social. And so playing, oh, there's the third six dot. So the, the news, we we're not going to take that. The news, or east-west with even's hand, is not going to work. It's not possible anymore because this, all the six dots are out, or three of them are. We have two pair of joker bait. I'm thinking the news concealed hand at this point, and most likely defense. Although we do have two pair of joker bait, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to keep the dragon. There are no there are no green dragons out. Maybe we can use this for joker bait. Joker bait doesn't always have to be a pair. Sometimes it can be a single tile. Now, we are in the fourth wall though. You do not want to be left with a fresh tile in the fourth wall, so I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of it right now. The four crack is also uh, Two crack. I'm going to get rid of the four crack. Let's see if anybody four bites crack. with the joker bait. Nope. So that's now a good tile to discard. We need to get rid of... There's one two crack out. There are no green dragons oh out. God. And there are, there are no six bams out. Oh, somebody just won. Okay, so let's see what they got. Uh, two, four, six, eight. Uh, this would be the second hand down. Very nice. So kudos to them. They won. And then here we have, it looks like they were trying for the 998 pair hand, which is a great hand. I love playing that hand. Uh, that has, um, it, it's, it's kind of odd because it's backwards on the card. It goes 998. That's why I call it the 998 pair hand. It's a second from the bottom. And that is a 50 point hand. So they were one away and they had a green dragon. Uh, let's see here. Where are we? Then we have me, which is a disaster. And then we have 
a two four six oh no two three two three four Kong hand one suit that would be third from the bottom under consecutive run and it looks like they needed the two four bam which were one was held by the winner and they just needed to draw and get another joker or get another multiple built up there so let me show you how to change the settings real quick so i'm gonna move oh i can't move it okay that's okay i'm gonna call up my settings so you can see the settings now so this is where you set the tiles to be discarded in a row you open settings by clicking the cog in the upper right corner it's in the very right corner next to the flat your your country flag of origin what have you and then you're gonna go down to game settings and you're gonna deselect random discards that's the fifth option down deselect that option and your tiles will line up so that you can see them easier uh, let's see another thing people ask me about all the time is auto arrange they want to be able to sort their tiles in their hand if you have auto arrange selected you won't be able to do that so I recommend that you deselect that and then there's a way for you to auto arrange your tiles in the game using an in-game feature so I hope that helps now let me show you uh, let's see here I can't move my I can't use the right panel um, underneath my uh, our chat window there is a a panel where you can click friends and then from there you can add a friend so I'll have to show you that later though because it's covered up and I can't move my my chat feature I don't know why but it's locked so I can't show it to you I'm sorry about that okay we're gonna join this table <clears throat> so let's see east and west with green dragon east and west with green dragon I only had one green dragon and um, I also the east was out I wasn't gonna play east and, and plus I had no flower oh I had one flower so yeah I think it just was late in the game I just switched to defense okay this is a really great start right here this is when I hear a lot of people say I have nothing I have nothing but you know there's all kinds of opportunity here there are no multiples in this drawn hand so what you do is you quickly look through the categories and you pick whatever you have the most of in this case I think we have the most for either one two three four or three six nine let's count one two three four five versus one two three four so we're gonna play one two three four one two three four so let's get rid of the five so we're gonna focus on consecutive run one two three four when I am playing in mixed suits for consecutive run I gather four numbers in a range okay we got a five so we'll keep that it's a little long one two one two four five but oh we just picked up a fir our first multiple the nine let's see if we could do an addition hand nine three twelve we do have a one two and we have a flower now we do have some dragons here I'm thinking we should switch to either addition with nines and threes or we could switch to maybe like numbers with nines I want to leverage multiples they're much stronger than singles so we're gonna switch from consecutive to nines now we have a six so at this point the three six nine might even be better than addition let's pass the four north one and focus on three six nine or like numbers with nines so you can see how your hand can change in even one pass this is why I don't pick a hand I stay at the category level so that you can make quick changes based on what you get at the category level if you try to pick a hand it's going to be difficult and you're going to be all over the place so try not to pick a hand pick a category so we're going to continue the Charleston we're, we're looking at maybe 369 
and we're not going to pick a hand we're just looking at the category so i'm going to click i'm going to click i'm going to keep every 369 i can and maybe even dragons there there are two hands that use dragons in the 369 category and i'm not going to look at which one it's going to fit because it really doesn't matter until i get a dragon i really don't care i'm just going to hold them okay so we're going to go ahead and pass that now we do have a pair here of east so i'm going to keep that maybe we could play a quint because we do have dragons and there is a quint with dragons so let's see what we get we do have tiles to pass so we still don't have to pick a hand we're going to keep going we're in between three six nine like numbers with nines or maybe even a quint let's see what happens this is one of my favorite ways to start because it's so challenging when you have start with no multiples and mixed suits you think well what am i going to play oh look what we got we got an east i think we should play a quint so let's get rid of let's see here three six nine we've got we i want options with my uh dragons so let's go ahead and give up the six bam because we still have a little bit of potential with the three bam although highly unlikely that i would play three six nine i think we have a strong possibility for a quint even with only one joker we might be able to draw a joker or maybe Get a joker from an exposure so try not to be intimidated by quints look what we got an east so now all we really need are dragons and nines nine cracks specifically so we'll see how this goes okay so we can probably go ahead and throw that let's keep the west who knows if we if we pair up the west we could play east and west with the dragon east and west with greens we could maybe play that as well so we'll hold the the west one bamboo okay we got a flower now i'm wondering if the east and west with flowers might be better east and west with the green dragon and the flower we could use the nine as joker bait so maybe this red dragon can go after the three we still don't have to commit yet okay we're not ready for that we need a kong we need a kong of west so now we're going to need another joker so at this point i'm a, a little more likely to go with a quint we're going to pass on that of course we're not ready for it anyway let's see what happens Four bamboos. the flowers could be joker bait as well ah oh, shoot oh three bam now we have options either the nine crack or the three bam could be the quint at this point uh let's see three bamboos. no we're gonna pass on that okay so the three i'm gonna get rid of we're gonna stay with whatever we have the Two best done. opportunity to draw in another nine in this case Six bamboos. okay there's a joker so i think we should still consider actually i think we should play east and west with the the dragon now because if we we need a flower though we need a flower or another joker we're still kind of in between we'll see so east and west with the green dragon second one down we need a flower or a green dragon or another joker of course and if if we draw a nine i think we can go ahead and maybe play the quint but let's see what we get pick by pick two characters okay we can get rid of this, the three bam there's three north south so this south is really probably safe yeah there's the south right there nobody wants wins apparently Five characters. which in a way is a good thing if we're going to play east and west with green Nine bamboos. okay there's a white now that might give us options for the quint if we play east Five dragon bamboos. nines we're a little light on nines at the moment Nine dots. so we'll see Six 
Seven bamboo. We got the green. Okay, the pair's handled. So let's play east and west with green. And we'll use the nines as joker bait. Now we want to get rid of this joker bait by the end of the third wall. And you just want to visualize based on where the break was. So the end of the third wall is probably right about here in the middle of like the the middle of the wall for the player to my left south about the middle of their wall we want to get rid of these nines if we haven't already you do not want to be sitting with joker bait and fresh tiles and valuable tiles like flowers and dragons in the fourth wall you want to get rid of them and switch from having fresh tiles and joker bait to having tiles that are already out so that you can play defensively in the fourth wall while still hopefully building your own hand so the focus kind of changes in the fourth wall and i believe i'll have a, a link to core strategy which talks about strategy by wall um, and this is a concept that i also learned from sloperama so um yeah he he's uh he may not know it but he's a great mentor north wind okay we don't need a south we're looking for a west there's only one out so we can con that we need a flower the nice thing about this particular situation is we we have two and since there are four required we can use a joker to help with the flowers Green dragon. That's a pear tile. We don't need that. We can get rid of the nine. Okay, now we're getting close to where nine we need to get rid of the nines. Maybe two more picks. Nine, and then nine. we'll get rid of the nine crack. Because we're almost at the middle of the third wall. Or going into the end of the third wall. Eight, That's when you want to get rid of any joker bait and fresh tiles. The nine crack is a fresh tile. Meaning it has nine, not been nine. thrown or exposed yet. So after this next pick, we'll probably get rid of the nine crack. Now the player across from me east, they have an eight dot. They could be playing something consecutive. And we don't know what's going on with north and south. The players to my right and left, respectively, because they're concealed. Nine and it's really hard in American style to figure out what they're playing because... Nine dots. Okay, I'm going to go one more turn. One more turn, and then this next turn, we'll get rid of the nine crack because we're now Four in the fourth dots. wall. Eight dots. Okay, they just got a joker. I should have gotten rid of that nine crack. Green dragon. Pass. Okay, we're going to get rid of the nine crack. Nine carrots. Nobody nine. wanted it, so it was for not. Six. That's okay. It's fresh and we got away with it. Huh. So we're okay. So they're playing a two, four, six, eight. It looks like two, four, six, eight. Maybe the first one, they need flowers. They're going to need flowers. Six dots. We'll get rid of the nine. Now the five crack, this is where you want to get rid of tiles that are out as opposed to fresh. Um, I'm still not going, I'm going to play to win because I'm only two away and we've got a, a, a little less than a full wall. So this hand is completely viable. So the six bam will be a good, a good safe tile. So I'm going to hold on to that for later. I'm going to get rid of the five bam. The one bam is a good tile too. Let's get rid of the five because there's only one out. So you want to look at how many are out and throw away the ones that are, um, the freshest oh there's our kong. kong okay now we'll get rid of the one because there's three out that's pretty safe one and now bamboo. we're left with a tile that is three out so that's how you want to plan it up to the end of the third wall you want to get rid of um the tiles that are being discarded but in the fourth wall you want to swap it and start getting rid of tiles that are already out. So it's kind of a switch in strategy. I hope that makes sense. So we're one away, we're, we're one discard away. We have several picks here. One, two, three, four, five, six more picks. All we need is a joker or a flower to get ready. There's a flower. So now we need a joker, which is going to be really hard to get in the fourth wall. If anybody throws a flower at this point, that's pretty risky so we'll see we'll see what happens but we're ready to win which feels good 
Ready to win is good. I mean, you don't get paid for it, but it feels good. Three dots. Okay, and of course we could pick it. So that seven dot, there's only one out. That's a seven little risky. Dot. Okay, we got away with it in that case. Seven dot. We need a flower or joker. Or west. There's seven one more west out, actually. Seven dots. Oh, five dot, safe tile. That was a good pick. Five dots. Nine characters. Come okay. Oh, oh, there's jokers. Nope, they're already out. The Three nines. Dots. Okay, the white should be safe. There are two out. Alieska says, how do you get the tiles in the discards to jump up when you mouse over? Um, that is called um, helpful discard, I believe. That is another setting. And if we exit uh, after the game, I'll try to show it to you. Mahjong. We did it. Woohoo. We got it. We drew a joker. Okay. So this was a really great example of strategy by wall. Uh, and joker bait and when to get rid of it, how to switch during strategy by wall, um, making sure that you're passing as safely as you can while still building your hand. So let's look and see what everybody was doing here. Okay, we had one, two, three Kong hand. They were two away. The one, two, three Kong hand, that would be the third from the bottom under consecutive run. And then we had a two, four, six, eight. They were ready to win. They needed a flower as well. So that was a close race. And then here we are playing a five, seven, nine. It looks like five, seven, nine Kong hand. Um, basically that would be the third hand down on the right. And then the winner, East and West with dragons. Okay, so let's exit. Thank you, Shirley. Okay, so let me show you about the tile help. This is also in game settings. And let's see here. I believe it is the safe discard help. Highlight discards that match selected tiles. So when you have your, mou your mouse is over a tile on your turn, the tile will lift in the discard area. I believe that is safe discard help. So I have that checked. There's also a highlight active discards. The tiles that were just discarded by players are highlighted until the player at the table can claim them. So I typically have that selected as well. Safe discard help is the one you were asking about, Alyeska. So let's go ahead and join auto six. Any other questions? Thank you, Maureen. Yeah, oh, we got in a win. I'm very happy. Yay. It feels good to win. Okay, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. My sister on the other coast. Sister Mahjong. Is that right? My Mahjong sister on the, on the West Coast. Good to see you. <laughs> yes, mental calisthenics. <laughs> okay, so we're waiting for another player. If you have an account at Mahjong time, come and play. Oh, we just got a player. So here we go. Let's see what we can do here. At any time, in between hands actually, let's, if anybody wants me to force a hand, we'll try forcing a hand. Okay, so here we've got three flowers. Whatever we do, we're going to play with flowers. We do have a pair of Wests. We have one, three, five, six, seven, nine, seven. The seven can go. Seven bam can go. One, three, five. Let's see. Maybe we could play an addition hand. Nine, three, twelve. We have a nine. We have a three and a one. Eight, four. We have no eight, but we do have a four. And seven, five. We do have a seven, five. Let's actually, you know what? We do have three, six, nine. Let's go ahead and get rid of the four and the seven and a west. Let's focus on either three, six, nine or an addition hand. And that basically is building around the flowers right now. If we, if we pair up, we could also play like numbers with flowers. Okay. Now here we did get a five, two, five, two, but. I want to try to stay in one suit at the moment. 
because we could even play 135 concealed or 135 con hand under little odds or for that matter 579 big odds so we'll let's see what happens here maybe oh you know what i was just thinking maybe we could play the pair hand 13579 pair hand okay let's let's kind of switch that thought process and hold the one the uh, odds and then i was thinking maybe we could uh use all the flowers but if we could play a pair hand and get rid of a flower i would do that so let's see if we could play the odds pair hand third one down or three six nine with flowers maybe like numbers with flowers we do have two fives okay we just paired up a five so let's go ahead and keep the five keep the five bam we're going to keep the five crack that's our mul uh, multiple now we let's go ahead and try to continue the charleston we'll give up the one bam because the five bam could be used with like numbers and we could still maybe play the pair hand I try not to pass the white dragons or any dragons if I don't have to because they're valuable in my opinion. So I, I try not to pass them. I kind of treat them as valuable as the value level as flowers during the passing. And so I, I try rarely to pass white dragons and flowers. Okay, so we have tiles to pass. Now we did get a one dot. Mm, that one bam was going around. Let's get rid of it get rid of it that's kind of a risky pass right there if anyone's playing the year category that's not good but you know any pass is going to have some level of risk you just want to be as innocuous as possible really but we're playing a pair hand excuse me we're playing a pair hand so riskier passes when you're playing a pair hand I think it is worth the risk you still want to be as defensive as possible okay so we're still in between like numbers with fives and flowers that would be the second hand down under like numbers uh, the other option is the odd pair hand we have no gaps except well with the major suit because you need one through one three five seven nine and one suit we have no gaps there but we do not have a five dot so that is a gap i think we're stronger to play like numbers like numbers are with fives at this point um i still don't want to give up the white dragon but i don't think i want to pass a six seven nine either way this is going to be really risky okay let's pass the six the six seven white because if we keep the nine we do have a potential for the pair hand with an option with the nine so on this last pass i'm going to go ahead and give up that white it's very rare that i do that okay in this case it didn't really pay off but they did give us a six bam back so at least they didn't want the six bam okay we're in between like numbers with fives and then the odd pair hand at this point we could still maybe play the addition hand with nine three twelve in cracks and use the fives as joker bait so there's lots of flexibility here there's five i'm thinking we're stronger now to like numbers with fives at the moment if we get a five dot that would fill a gap and we could try for the pair hand now a nine crack has been discarded so you gotta always watch discards especially if you're playing a pair hand well you really want to watch discards all the time uh let's see the singles and pairs odd hand has two suits it has three suits oh shoot you're right i was thinking of last year's hand <laughs> okay okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play <laughs> oh my gosh that was a total brain freeze there so let's see one three five five seven nine i should have kept that that seven that seven bam then we could still play it one three five five seven nine although we just got okay i'm not going to do that we just got a joker so we're going to play probably like numbers with fives or little odds so we have joker bait with the sevens 
Yes, I just did. Thank you, um, Shaleski. I don't know if that's the right way to pronounce your name, but I did check it. You're right. I was thinking of last year's hand. So one, three, five, five, seven, nine, and two suits. So that's seven BAM. I should have kept it, but my mind was on last year's convention, which is weird because we're halfway through the year. Okay, so let's move on. We're gonna do like numbers with fives or little odds. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and hold the one, three, and five. If a five goes down, a five bam or five crack, I may take it. But at this point, we have Joker bait with the seven, so we can recover from that mistake. This is one thing you know I don't fret over mistakes it's okay to make mistakes and you can totally recover so try not to be hard on yourself when you make a mistake just regroup and move on pick pick a hand or pick a category that's going to best use whatever tiles remain from the mistake okay so we don't want that nobody wanted it so those are probably safe Six bamboos. okay here we go one three five little odds uh, let's see, we can get rid of the north. And I forgot we could still do north. the 9, 3, 12. There's one 9 crack already out though. Nope, there's two. I'm going to get rid of the 9. We're going to let the addition go and focus on like numbers with flowers, most likely, or little odds with 1, 3, 5 cracks. Let's get rid of the 9. The 8 bam is a good discard too. So we can get rid of that and we'll hold the sevens. Maybe the, the players weren't ready for the seven yet. We could hold on to that. That could still be good yeah, joker bait. Done. We just are not, you know, we don't know yet. Uh, yep, the addition five, seven. Oh, hey, that's a good idea. Um, I think I would rather do like numbers. It's a higher point hand. Like numbers with fives is a higher point hand and we just got a joker. So I'd rather go for the higher point hand, but that was definitely a good option. And the twos, we have no two, which is a single. So I think like numbers with fives is good. Let's see what happens. Let's get rid of the eight. We could still play like num or the addition with sevens and fives. That was a good catch, Diane. Thank you. And that is totally viable. Um, it's a little risky not having that too, uh, but you know, we're not that far off. So let's get rid of the one. We'll get rid of the three. We can still do the addition with seven and five. One bamboo. For some reason, I avoid that category. And this is kind of a case in point. I'm still liking the like number with fives option oh there's the three we're gonna get rid of it though three characters. nobody wanted it anyway Chrysanthemum. okay we're gonna pung that pung. Three characters. so we need another flower or another joker now Two bamboos. we're i want to use these jokers for the fives Nine because bamboos. anybody with a flower will totally take that joker right away so I want to try to draw my own joker or my own flower or a joker to fill in as needed. I don't want to use my joker for the flower. It will get picked up right away, I'm sure. One bamboo. Nine bamboos. So at this point, we're, we're committing to like numbers with fives and flower. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a surprise. Okay. Let's see here. I'm glad I didn't throw it. It's pure. That is a pure hand. No jokers. So that is uh, well done. Okay. I'm trying to congratulate them. Kudos. Oops. Kudos. I got a typo in there. All right. So they have the 2018 uh, news hand. Very nice. And then here we have, they wanted to play five, six, seven Kong hand. They had joker bait with the twos and the sevens. They had two twos. So my twos might have been hard to come by with the uh, addition hand. And then here we have one, two. It looks like they were in between 
consecutive run and odds. They couldn't get the fives or maybe they were going to use the jokers for the five dots and get rid of the two four. And then, of course, over here, we were looking for the five crack and the seven or five crack, five bam, of which they were none out in the hands that was all in the wall. OK, we'll go ahead and try to find another game. So when I congratulate everybody, I use the chat feature, which I can't show you right now. It's on the left or the right panel underneath the chat feature in the live stream, but it's locked right now. But there's a little chat feature where you can put your cursor and type um, like an instant message kind of a thing in the game. So I usually type kudos or well done or WD or NH for nice hand is uh, what people will say sometimes. There's a lot of leet speak that happens, um, or not leet speak, but kind of people use acronyms. Uh, instead of typing full text, they'll type TY for thank you, or NH for nice hand, WD for well done. Um, I, I like to type kudos, because it's, you know, I don't know, it's just easy. Okay, let's see. It looks like someone's inter or inviting me to a reachy hand. So you can invite people to tables. In this case, someone is inviting me to play reachy. So I can say, so sorry, live streaming American style tonight. Last Sunday of the month will be dedicated to Ricci between now and then may all your picks be keepers there we go decline so sorry. Okay, so let's see here. Let's join a table. I thought I was going to show another another feature, but I can't remember what the request was for. If if you're still here and you had a question, oh, we're getting ready to start and Mr. Piano is at the table. He's really good. He almost always wins when I play when he's at my table, he wins. All right, we have a pair of white dragons and a pair of nine bams. So this is when we want to try to leverage those two. I'm thinking consecutive run knitted, second hand down. We need eight dots if that's the case. We could potentially play a year hand with the north and the white dragons in the eight one eight crack maybe um i think we could go ahead and pass three and just move on so we're in between the news year hand or consecutive run using nines we could also maybe play a quint quint with no jokers is my signature move okay we just got like numbers which is the bane of my existence because it really messes things up. So I'm gonna break it up. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of the eight bam. We want an eight dot, not an eight bam. So let's pass it on. We're looking for an eight dot or wins and the wins are not coming right now. We're still in the first Charleston though, there's one. We just got a wind, so we'll keep that for a minute and pass these three. We can still pass those. We do have a one eight. I want to keep the eight crack because that's needed for a single if we do play news with the 2018 year hand. We're looking for eight dot. Ah, shoot. Okay. We've got a south and we did pick up another nine. So I'm going to give up the seven bam. And instead of playing the knitted consecutive hand, I'm going to say that like numbers with nines is more likely or the year category with the 2018 in cracks. 
And that gives us a, a decent pass, one of each suit. Okay, no keepers, no keepers here. We're looking for nines, dragons, and wins at the moment, and or two crack specifically. We're kind of in between at the moment. I think we're um, more on the news year hand side, but having a gap with the two crack is not good. Not good at all. Okay, so we'll get rid of those. That's a little risky passing a 3-4 in one suit. But we're kind of hurting right now. At this point, we have a lot of discards, like five, six discards right now. Not good. This is not good. We're going to be an underdog. We're, I believe we're in the second Charleston right now. Oh, we got a nine. Okay. So this is when I'm going to switch to like numbers. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and keep the two because pairs of ones is going around. A pair of ones. I'm going to get rid of, oh, they only want two. Let's pass the four dot and a one crack because you can use a joker with the one crack. Let's see if we get that one dot back or maybe a nine or a joker. We got the one back. <laughs> so we just basically switched. So the uh, year hand is still possible. We have two, four, six, seven towards that. but And we have two, four, six, seven. We're in between. We're in between like numbers with dragons, concealed, hand, third one down under consecutive run, or the year hand using dots at the at this point one dot we can get rid of the eight i'll get rid of the three next i always like to get rid of the year tiles in cracks and bams if i'm not going to use them because i want to try to sabotage the big year hand so that's why i got rid of the eight crack right away Oh, we have joker bait. The three's out. Let's focus on, I want to keep that joker bait. I'm going to hold on to that. And that gives us tiles we can discard with the wins. There's an east out already. So I think I'm just going to go with like numbers. We were even and like numbers is a higher point. Oh, no, no. It's equal because the news hand is concealed as well. Oh, look at, we, we just got. I'm going to get rid of the three. We're right back. Oh, darn it. Isn't that the way it goes? We just got another tile, a multiple, a two, I mean a one. So now let's count. We have a gap though. No eight dot. Okay. I think the three crack was foregone anyway because, oh, there's a joker. We have no eight crack or eight dot. We have no eight dot. I'm thinking we could go ahead and focus on the year and use the ones as joker bait. Okay, I'm going to stick with it now. We're going to commit to like numbers with nines. Um, there are dragons out. If we get flowers, we could switch to like numbers with flowers and the, and the dragon, which is the very first hand. We could get rid of the nine dot, for example, and use the white dragons. Ah... Oh, I'm waffling. If we get an eight dot or a wind, we I might go back. Gosh, oh, this is hard. We're in between. We have two, four, two, four, six, seven, two, four, five, six, seven. We're in between. We're in between, but we have no eight dot. There are two east out. Eight bamboo. Eight bam, okay. Green dragon. Oh, okay. All the greens are out. Okay, so that is not useful at all now. Same. Oh, we got the eight dot. Look at that. Okay, so yeah, that was a mistake. 
Another mistake I made tonight. So I should have stuck with the news. I gave up one tile. I gave up a south. So we're going to try to recover. And you can totally recover from a mistake. Try not to be hard on yourself. I'm not going to be hard on myself. Four we're going to try to recover. Try to get a south and an east Seven before dots. long. If nothing else, maybe we could play the 1-2 Kong hand with dragons. So there's still options. If we can't get the wins, there's three east out now. Three dots. Okay, there's the eight dot. We got the pairs now. Nine okay, so at this point, Three we need the east badly because there are three out. North wind. We're good there. That eight bam is available. Two bamboos. Four dots. Three dots. Plum. We need that east. Pung. Oh, uh oh. Okay, like numbers. Oh, let's see. No, we're not going to take that. Now they could be like they could be playing like numbers with eights, or they could be playing the two four six eight hand. We're good there. Okay, we're going to keep that. Of course, Nine we dots. need that east really badly right now. There's only one left. Four bamboos. Okay, and if that goes down, we're going to switch to the one two Nine Kong dots. hand with dragons East wind. oh it's dead okay one two kong Seven hand characters. here's another switch opportunity and we have lots of joker bait now this eight dot if they're playing like numbers with eights they may need Four this dots. eight dot here we are heading into the end of the third wall Nine dots. i'm going to get rid of these wins this red dragon is safe. I'm going to hold on to that because we're almost in the fourth wall. I want to start holding safe discards. We have no flowers. This may be a defense hand. Okay, news with dragons. I have no flowers, Janet. If I, I have a big gap with no flowers. So the news wouldn't have been good with that because all the Easts are out too. So that hand is no longer viable. There we go. So instead of saying it's a dead hand, it's no longer viable. It's not viable to life. I think that's better than saying dead. Okay, you know what? I I'm going to play defense. I'm not going to take that. I think we should just play defense at this point. We have way too many discards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine picks. And I have... I have six discards for us to pick a, a tile. Okay, we finally got a, a, a flower. Now we don't have a gap. So at this point, I'm, okay, I'll go ahead and Kong it at this point. Let's go ahead and, and keep the Joker bait one more turn. Okay, so now we have a one and a white. And the reason I switched to from defense to pushing is because we, we filled a gap with the flower. We need a pair of flowers, and I just got one. So we need to get rid of these. Okay, there's another flower. We're going to let that nine bam go. Let's see if anybody wants it. There's a joker. That's how joker bait works. So now we're going to get the joker. And we're going to discard that. And now we can Kong here. Now, this eight dot is really suspect. So there's um, two, 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 there's one two bam out, two four bams out. I'm concerned about east. I'm concerned they're playing like numbers with eights. I'm going to get rid of my eight dot. Let's see if we can get a joker out of it. Nope. So they must be playing, they're either not ready for it or they're playing two, four, six, eight. Um, okay, we're going to Kong it. We'll get rid of the eight. There's one one crack out. 
it looks like that might be a safe tile. So we're okay there. So we recovered. We're one away. And we have one, two, three, four, five more picks. Six more picks. If we get a joker, nine characters. one crack, seven dot. I'll get rid of the one crack because there's only one out. One the seven dot is safer to keep this late in the game. You want to keep tiles that are out. Okay, that's not good. There it is. Two, four, six, eight. They needed a six bam. Okay, so here's our winner. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, uh, two, four, six, eight, second hand down. Second hand down under evens. I'm trying to congratulate them if my mouse, this is really per, just, okay. Let's see here, did that go? I don't like how this, there's like this little navigation bar that comes up and it, it covers the chat feature. I'm gonna, submit a ticket on that because I cannot get into the chat feature. Oh, okay, whatever. All right, here we go. Yellow, yellow eye. She's a really good player too. So two, four, six, eight, uh, second, uh, first hand, they needed a six bam. Then we had a player trying for five, seven, nine Kong hand, one suit. Oh, no, no, no. One, three, five, seven, nine. They had no flowers. So they were trying for the first odd hand and they needed a one bam, which went dead or was no longer viable. And then mine, uh, we, we needed a joker. We needed two, we needed two jokers cause there were two white dragons out. So, uh, but we recovered. I mean, this hand was a mess the whole way and look how close we got. So, you know, anything's possible there. Let me know what you thought about that hand. I hate that navigation bar, Marine. Oh my gosh, it really, sometimes, oh, I lose my patience with that thing. I, I really don't like it. I don't know why it's even necessary. I never use it. I really never use it. I don't even know what those things down there mean. My account, statistics, archive, my items, help, that's good. Help is good. But on the right, there's live help. And then we have a bunch of numbers, which that maybe is um, perhaps that's your connect connection speed. I have no idea what that is. I have no idea what that is. And then we have a little ladybug. That's to report a bug. And then we have a time clock and a power button. So, yeah, I, I wish we could deactivate that thing. I don't like it. Okay, anyway, moving on. Enough complaining. Okay, let's see if we can make a table here. Okay, hopefully we'll get to play two more games. I wouldn't mind winning a game. Does anybody have any questions about Mahjong time? And again, if you are, if you haven't played at Mahjong time yet and you want to try it out, I do have some VIP codes that can give you 30 days uh, free so you can try it out. Send me an email. My email address is in the video description so you can come and check it out. Can check up connection speed. I don't know how to do that. I mean, I know that there are websites Okay, let's join this table. Okay, shall we force a hand? Somebody throw out a category or even a specific hand if you want. We'll, we'll try to force a hand. I think it's a really great exercise especially if you like to play in tournaments or special events where they have prizes. I don't know if you've seen my videos on forcing a hand, but this is a really good exercise. So if I don't get a category or a hand, I'll just build around multiples, which is my go-to strategy, building around multiples.
We're waiting for players. Are we stuck in chat? Okay, let's see. The um the that it surely says that is the bottom button to check your own speed. The bottom button? What bottom button? In that that pop-up navigation down here, the bottom button, sign out, time, full screen, good connection. If I hover over the little sort of curvy lines. It says whether or not you have a good connection and then you have a bug and then I don't know what those numbers with the dots are for live help and then we have a bunch of menu items but nevertheless I don't ever use that little pop-up and it always gets in the way of my chat which is very aggravating especially if you're on a time crunch force a hand let's force a news hand a news hand so news with the year or news pair hand or winds and dragons okay nancy we'll do a news hand we'll see what happens we need players though we won't be able to do a news hand if we don't get players okay so janet says if you start with at least one flower and a 12 go for addition Fourth hand under winds and dragons. One, two, three, four. News with dragons. Okay. If not, then maybe uh, stuck if high. You may be the one stuck if high. Okay. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Uh, okay. So we'll we'll play either an, uh, a news hand, specifically news with dragons, if we can, or we'll play addition, depending on what we get. Okay. We have probably two more games that we could play. So maybe we'll do both of those tonight. The next two uh, games, we'll do those two. Okay, so we need, we need players though. If you have, Shirley, come and play. Um, Shirley and Josephine, if you're still here, come and play. We need players. Oh, you may be already in games. Okay, so since we're waiting, I'm just going to mention this. I'm going to Savannah in October for my birthday. So um, the week of October 23rd, I will be... Oh, there's Josie. Hi, Josie. Um, so the week of my birthday, uh, the week of the 23rd in Savannah, my husband and I are going to go there. He has a convention, and so I'm going to go there. I'm going to work during the day because I do work. But at night, we're going to divide it up between Mahjong and dinners out and sightseeing with my husband. So if you are in the Savannah area, oh, there's Plet. Sweet, we got a game. Okay. Uh, anyway, let me, let me know. Send me an instant message on Facebook or look for the event calendar. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have a joker and a flower. Okay, so let's see. We have a one. We do have a seven and a five. Let's, let's try for a like number or not like number. Let's try for an addition hand, seven, five, 12, seven, five, 12. If I'm going to play that, I'm going to keep the sevens and the dragon and we have tiles we can pass. Okay. So Sharon says you're near Savannah. Okay. I'm going to be there the week of the 23rd of October. So reach out to me. Maybe we could play Mahjong. Thank you, Josephine. If you're going to watch the repost, thank you for doing that. I trust you, though. I know you wouldn't hold any of my commentary against me. Okay, we didn't get any keepers, um, but we did get some options with the ones and the five there. Let's go ahead and pass a dragon. I try not to pass dragons. I really try not to pass dragons. But we're going to force a hand here. So a little bit of risk is, is worth it. Okay, now we have a seven. 
and we have a five and we have let's see five we need a one crack and a two crack pretty badly at the moment let's pass seven one north okay we're in between seven five one two we need a one crack and a two crack okay we got a five crack and a seven bam oh okay seven five two there's a two and we got to give something up we're going to definitely do the charleston so this is where you want to use the most of your multiples normally i would focus on the pung but we have two pair with the seven five and because let's see because we have the pung i'm going to leverage that i'm going to go with the pung so we'll break those up we'll go with the pung as hard as that is seven five one two dots let's see if we can recover or get dots maybe we can get those tiles back that we passed thank you Sharon it'd be really nice to meet you and play anytime I go somewhere I want to create a meetup somehow so that I can meet uh, a bunch of different people and play mahjong I may be going to California in oh look we got a one three okay north one seven five oh hmm nope 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 stick with it anyway I'm going to California I forget where in California I think San Diego I think my husband's going to San Diego on a conference in February <gasps> we got the two okay good thing I stuck with it so now we can use this joker for the five maybe east okay they want two tiles we'll pass the east and the seven bam and we have joker bait with the five bam which may be good because it didn't come around during the Charleston oh Sharon that'd be fabulous okay I, my email is under my and in the video description send me an email so I can get your contact information so maybe we can connect um, I'm gonna have three not three nights for Mahjong and I'm gonna play in a tournament I think on Friday the week of October 23rd there's a local tournament Northwind. so if you don't know about that already definitely send me an email Northwind and when i get information about it i'll let you know very good awesome so exciting i can't wait to meet everybody out in savannah i love savannah oh it's so much fun yeah we'll throw that we went there on a day trip uh one time with my son who was learning how to drive and we decided to take a day trip so that he could get in hours and drive on the highway he drove the whole way there the whole way back we made it a day trip and we did it in one day it was a lot of fun we went we basically drove from the north georgia to to tybee island and back in one day we didn't stay overnight so we were trying to save money and we just basically made it a day trip and it was amazing and when we were there we decided that we loved the city so we made an effort to go back and we have been back three times this will probably be my fourth time there my husband's third time there I think but it's a beautiful city if you haven't been there yet check it out it's uh, romantic it's kind of um, old you know uh everything is just kind of old and the moss grown from the trees it just feels romantic there okay we're gonna pass on that okay there was a pause there i'm thinking somebody has five bams i think somebody needs five bams i'm gonna hold these five bams until probably right about above the five bams that's when i'll get rid of them we got a joker okay we need flowers badly right now okay come to come and visit vancouver island okay marine that's in washington right vancouver island is that in the pacific northwest i used to live in in uh, tacoma 
and I love the Pacific Northwest. It is my favorite area of the United States. As a matter of fact, we may move to the Portland area in the next, I don't know, three years. Okay, we don't want that. Use the pung in mixed suits. Well, we don't have a one crack or a two crack. That's a gap. Okay. I, I don't want to go for a gap hand at this point. We have the one, two secured. So I'm going to stick this out. We just need flowers at this point. Um, you're in Spokane. Okay, good. Yep, that's what I thought. Keep the five bams. I'm going to keep the five bams as long as possible. Right now, there's one crack out and a two crack out. If we get the one crack and two crack, I may just switch. So we'll keep the five bams as long as possible. Um, Maureen, send me an email. My email is below the video description so we can... I'm not going to take that because we have a gap. If I have a gap, I do not commit. Um, oh, you're in Canada. Oh, oh, Canada. Vancouver's in Canada, but... You know, if we go to the Pacific Northwest on a visit, I could go into Vancouver. I have a passport. So send me an email with your contact information so that we could maybe connect if we end up going into um, the Pacific Northwest. I would love to go to Vancouver. I've never been there, actually. Okay, Susan, you live in San Diego. Okay, send me an email so we can exchange contact information because I believe my husband's convention is in San Diego in February. And I may be going on that trip. Okay, let's get rid of the set six bam. Six bamboos. Keep the five bam to use with seven dots. I'm hoping to do that, but now there's two, two, two one cracks out and we have a gap. We have a gap with no one, two crack. We need the one, two crack or either way, we need flowers. So this hand is, is not coming in right now. Green dragon. Okay, we have, let's get rid of this uh, six dot. Six okay, we're, we're still in the end. Of, we're coming into the end of the third wall. Yeah, the one, two dots. I'm trying to build around the five, the, the seven dot, five dot. We need flowers really badly right now. Four dots. Okay, eight dot, none are out. Let's get rid of the six crack. Six okay, this two bam, two bam cracks dot. Okay, I like to survey for the big year hand. I need to get rid of this two bam because the the big year hand tiles are not out. I want to get rid of this two bam right now. I do not want to pay into the big year hand, so I try to sabotage that. Okay. Yeah, we're good there. No worries, Janet. That's why I was trying to focus on this one suit option because we have the one two. Yeah, we don't want that. Nobody wants wins, apparently. Seven characters. We got the five. And we can now use this joker for a flower. We need a flower and we can be set. We still have joker bait. I need to get rid of this five bam. We're now in the end game. We're into the fourth wall. This is when you want to get rid of fresh tiles and joker bait that is unused. So the eight dot is fresh. I'm going to get rid of that. There's one green dragon out. Hold on. Someone's going to Kong it. Oh, someone is not ready for that. Someone needs that eight dot. I'm sure of it. Okay, next we're going to get rid of the five bam. This is when you want to hold tiles that are out. You switch. Okay, pass. Nobody wanted the green dragon, so that's a good safe tile. We did get that one crack. I'm going to throw it though. Now that we have the five dot it's and the one, two dots secure, we're much stronger there. Okay, so you want to start holding tiles that are out. So you now switch from, from holding on to fresh tiles to holding on to tiles that are out. So let's go ahead and get rid of the five bam. Let's see if we can get a joker out of it. Nope. So this in this case, the joker bait didn't pan out. 
We'll get rid of that five bam next because there's only one out. Then we'll get rid of the, the dragon because there's only one. Are there two out now? And then, oh, there's the eight dot. I knew it. That's why I wanted to get rid of it. Okay, the three crack, there are three out. So that's a good tile to hold at this late stage. Someone threw jokers. They're playing a pair hand. I think North is maybe playing a pair hand. There are four west out. Let's get rid of the five bam. There were three, two out, now three. Okay, now we have all safe tiles. I think the green dragon, there's only two, so we should throw that first. Green dragon. Okay, now that these are all safe tiles right now. We have all safe tiles. Eight bamboos. Which is a good place to be at the moment. The six dot is still available. We don't need that. Six bam is safe. Let's get rid of the green. The six bam. The, th the west and the three crack, those are all safe tiles. Nine dots. What's interesting is there are no seven dots or five dots. Someone's probably playing the, there's an odd hand right there. They probably have the tiles we need. Okay, let's see. We got a pair hand. That's what I was afraid of. I'm glad I didn't throw it. Okay, two, four, six, eight pair hand. Very nice, Maxine of La Jolla. Okay, Plett was playing nines, like numbers with nines. She needed nine bams, and then of course she needed a towel for her, her pair. Josie was playing a two, four, six, eight, the first hand down. She couldn't get two dots, so she had a gap. That's why I don't like to play gap hands. And then of course here, we needed the five, seven, but Plett had the five, seven dot. Um, she's in the east seat. She had the five, seven. Okay, let's see if we can play a news hand and that will conclude the live stream. We'll play one more hand. Do you need to define a joker of flowers? If you have one of that set for whatever it is you're trying to use the jokers for, if you have one natural tile, you do not need to define a joker. If you do not have any tiles for a set that you're intending to use jokers for, you need to identify or define one of those jokers as that missing tile or that gap. You need to fill a gap with the joker and that way you'll get prompted for a pung or kong, what have you. So we're going to play a wind and dragon hand with one wind. Let's see what happens. So we have a south and here we have lots of multiples. Look at all these multiples. Here's a seven, eight, Here's eights. Maybe we could play east and west with eights. So let's break up the four, three, one. We're going to break up these fours. Okay, so we're going to try to play a, a wind and dragon hand here with one wind. Let's see what happens. We'll try to make it work. We're looking for wins. Let's hope they come around. Sometimes people don't play wins during the Charleston and they come around. There's a wind. So we'll keep the West. Let's break these up. Four dot, two, three dot. It's a little risky, two, three, four, but I need to break up the like numbers and the pair. We're not going to use those fours. We want to leverage either news, let's say news with seven, eight, nine or six, seven, eight or east and west with eights. I'm kind of thinking east and west with eights because we can use jokers for the east and west. There's a west and a nine. Let's hold the nine, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we have to make a choice. Let's get rid of the five, four. I am not gonna pass like numbers. So whatever we have the most of, and I'm thinking east and west with eights. So I'm going to go ahead and break up the seven. We're going to go with east and west with eights. Even though we have a gap with no east, we have every eight. And all we need is an eight crack to secure the pairs. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of the south probably. We're totally going to get rid of the four bam. Let's hold the seven nine because we may be able to recover. But if we can get a seven bam, nine bam, maybe six bam or six dot, seven dot, nine dot for the uh, dots. We could always switch to news with um, 
consecutive run. Okay, we got a north. So let's keep the north and the nine. That's kind of what I was talking about just a minute ago. We'll give up the seven, four. Okay, we definitely want to do the Charleston. Let's see if we can keep going. We are filling in with wins at this point. Uh, let's see, seven, eight, nine. Because we have a pair with the with the eight, I'm thinking of giving up on someone still trying to decide. Miss Travel Bug. Thank you, Sharon, for sending your contact info. Okay, Miss Travel Bug decided against the Charleston. In that case, I I want a full pass. Let's see if we can get three tiles. Because I want an east. They want two. Okay, that's fine. That'll give us options. I'm totally fine with that. I mean, I have to be. Okay, we'll give those two. So we are in between news, consecutive run, or east and west with eights. In between. Either way, we're playing a news hand. Well, really, we're not playing a news hand if we're doing east and west with eights, are we? I forgot she said a news hand. All right, we'll try to focus on we'll try to focus on consecutive run to play the news consecutive run hand. We got a west. So this this is where I really would like to play the east and west with eights. Okay, we're going to discard six the six crack. Oh, I should have kept that. I should have kept that for options with the six, seven, eight. Oh, well, that's all right. Okay, five crack we totally don't need. Five characters. So we're gonna we're trying to do a news hand here. We're forcing a hand. We're trying to do a news hand. Four dots. South wind. Okay, we need a pair of that. There's a north and a south east out. Wind. And there goes an east. Three if nothing else, we can switch to like oh. numbers with eights if we have to. One character. Okay, we don't need that. If you are just joining us, we're playing at Mahjong time. I do, oh, there's a nine. We want that. Let's get rid of the nine, bam. We're trying to force one a news three. consecutive run pair hand right now. Oh. We started with one south and a little bit of a consecutive run. Five. Okay, we'll get rid of the south. We do have some joker bait here. Six, if you're playing a pair hand though, you don't need joker bait. However, we could always switch to the news concealed pung hand two under winds and dragons. Seven characters. Okay, there's the south. Let's get rid of the eight. eight okay, so now we need the north and the east badly. We have a gap. There are two east out right now. Oh, so if you have not played at Mahjong time, send me an email. My email address is under the video description. I can send you a 30-day VIP code so that you can come and try out Mahjong time. It really is the best place to play, in my opinion, for American style. But also, there are other versions here. Uh, Hong Kong style, Mahjong competition rules, Taiwanese, and Ricci, uh, Japanese style. And American style, of course. North so wind. there are lots of options here if you want to learn other ways to play the game. Five bamboo. Yeah, we don't need a five crack. This hand is still viable. We need an east badly because there are two out right now. Eight dots. We do have some joker bait if we need to switch to. Wind. Okay, we're not taking that, of course. We already gave up on the eights for east and west with eights. There are two eights out. Let's throw the eight, eight dot. Dots. The six bam is a fresh tile. Let's hold it and get rid of the eight bams next. Seven bamboos. Either that, I mean, the eight bams are fresh as well. Let's get rid of the six bam instead and hold on to Seven joker bait. Dots. Oh, now we have both. Okay, it doesn't matter. They're going to be equally valuable. Let's six see. Bamboos. Nope. Nobody wanted the six spam either. Oh. 
Oh, nobody wanted that either. Darn it. Okay, we're still trying for news with 789 consecutive run. Six dots. Okay, we got a two. We don't need that. Two characters. The east is our weakness right now, big time. I'm going to hold the west, though, for a while because we could switch to the news concealed hand. Okay, now the pair hand is done. So at this point, I want to focus on joker bait. I want to hold my pairs until right about here, right above the north, uh, the third discard. I want to hold on to my joker bait and try to get as many jokers as I can. Let's see if anyone takes that. Nope, but there was a hesitation. I think somebody might need a nine crack. So we need jokers at this point. We're going to try to switch to uh, the news concealed pung hand. The news consecutive run hand is no longer viable because all the east are out or three are out. So the pair hand is no longer viable. So we have a long way to go. Three bamboos. Four bam. There's one out. There are two eight cracks out. So we'll throw that. Eight characters. Let's see. Four bam. There's one out. Six bam. One out. Seven dot. One out. North wind. There's one eight bam out. One nine crack. So all these are still good Six potential characters. joker bait. Six bamboos. Nine dot. None are out. I'm going to hold that. We'll get rid of the four. I'm wondering if this player to my left, North, I'm wondering if they're playing like numbers with nines or three, six, nine, maybe. If they're playing consecutive run, they could use all these tiles right here. Okay, we're gonna pass. Okay, nobody wants the nines. I'm gonna escalate those and get rid of those. We're gonna get rid of the nine. Nobody wanted them. So I'm going to, I'm going to push that to the front and hold on to these now. Uh, let's see nine dot. There are none out. Now I need to keep an eye on that because we're heading into the end of the third wall. We need to get rid of fresh tiles right about now. Four dot. There's one out nine crack. There's three, four. Okay. There's one of each of all these four tiles here. We need to start getting rid of these and probably this joker bait. Okay, we're playing a concealed hand, so we're not taking that. We have a full wall. Seven characters. Seven dots. We'll pass. Nobody wanted that. We'll throw it. We got another joker. We need these for the east. There's three east out at the moment. Now, yeah, we got rid of all those eights. I think east and west with eights would have been a really nice hand if we had gotten those east. But, yeah, that's all right. Three characters. Five dot. There's two out. Let's throw that. Oh, see, I should have kept that. I should have kept the five and gotten rid of these with only one out, like the four dot. The six bam, that's two are out, nine dot, none are out. That needs to go now. There are none out, so you want to get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of it now. The four dot will be next because there's only one out. So that takes precedence at the moment. Oh, you know what? I forgot about my eights. Okay, now there's one out. Those are okay at the moment. I might, let's see. Let's get rid of the four dot and then the eight bam. I'm concerned about, uh-oh, six dot. I'm going to hold that. Let's, let's throw the four. four uh-oh. That hesitation was very concerning. Okay, six dot. There are three out. I'm going to hold that for a safe discard. There are two out of the one crack, two out of the six bams. So the eight bams will go next. Four carries. White dragon, there are two out. Let's get rid of the eight bam. Eight bamboo. Nobody wants it. Red dragon. Hi, Judy. Welcome to the live stream. We're in our last game, but you can watch the repost. It's been Seven exciting. Dots. 
And we want a hand, actually. Six bamboos. Yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be, um, we'll get rid of the nine dot. This is nine going to dot. be defense at this point, probably. We have five discards, nine one, bamboos. two, three, four picks. Six discards and four picks. There's no way we're going to win. Very good, Judy. I would love for you to watch the repost. It was a, a really fun Bamboo. night and a lot of strategy commentary. A lot of good questions about Mahjong time. Okay, now there is a two BAM. I'm going to hold all my year tiles and maybe even, oh, let's see, six BAM. I think I'll throw the six BAM and then the six dot. I'm concerned that they could be trying for a year hand. Maybe I should maybe throw the wins. Let's go ahead and do defense and three throw wins. Oh, three BAM just went down. We're totally playing defense at this point. Total defense, I'll throw the wins. Eight characters. So uh, since we're switching to defense here, I just wanna say thank you for joining me on this live stream. I hope you had a good time and I hope you learned some things. And I always enjoy the camaraderie and the community. This is a good discard. Uh, so I love it that you come and watch and uh, if you've missed a big portion of the live stream this will be published and um, so you are welcome to watch the repost we'll pass on that uh, so you're welcome to watch the repost make any comments I'll, I'm happy to answer any questions we're gonna go ahead and throw the north oh I could have thrown my jokers these jokers can totally go uh, so yeah, I, I hope you all had a good time. I sure did. Huh. You're welcome, Maureen. And be sure to send me an email Two if uh, you want to uh, share contact information so that when I travel, I c maybe we can meet up and play Mahjong together. Joker. Okay, we're done. All right, so they were trying one, two dragons over here. Uh, this was a wall game, which is kind of nice the way it ended up. We got our tokens back. So here we have one, two dragons. They couldn't get green dragons or a flower, of course. And then here we have two, three, four consecutive run Kong hand. And then over here we had a one, three, five, seven, nine mixed suit, second from the bottom under odds. And then of course here, total defense. Look at that hot mess right there, yikes. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this live stream. I sure did. I'm so glad that you came by. Let's see, Alieska says, FYI, both creating a new game and jumping tiles require, require VIP status. Okay, well, thank you for mentioning that. I will definitely test that out and do a video on it. Does the game work on an iPad? It absolutely does, but it's a different platform, so you don't have the same features. For example, on um, an iPad, if you use the app, you will not have a chat feature. If you play through a browser, you will. So it's a little bit different on a mobile device, but you can play on both an iPhone and an iPad. So come and check it out. If you wanna try it out, send me an email and I'll send you information. And again, send me an email and give me your contact information and we'll start uh, kind of like a mailing list or whatever. So if I ever travel to your area, then maybe we can meet up and play Mahjong. I would totally love that. It's been so much fun. I've been able to meet people in California. I'm going to Savannah in October. I'll be able to meet people there and play. I'm going to South Carolina um, in Sullivan's Island, South Carolina in November. And then I'm going to Destin, Florida in in uh, December. So I'm gonna meet a lot of Mahjong players and I'm just so excited. February, maybe I'm going to San Diego. I'm not sure yet, but that's kind of in the plans at the moment. I'm hoping to travel to Port the Portland area as well, uh, hopefully next December for Christmas because I have family there. So uh, lots of opportunity to meet people all over the nation. I, I would love to do meetups and play some Mahjong with you. So listen, if you liked, wait, jumping tiles? What is jumping tiles? I'm not sure what jumping tiles means. I'm wondering if that is sorting. I don't know. Thank you very, okay, you're welcome, Shirley. Thank you everyone for coming to the live stream. I really appreciate it. 
And I'm so excited about the community we're building. I cannot do this alone. So I need you. You know, I'm putting out these videos, but they would mean nothing without viewers. So thank you so much for watching the live streams. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for subscribing if you have done that and for giving me thumbs up, for commenting on my videos and for sharing about the YouTube channel and my Facebook group. All that really helps to grow this community and um, I really hope that you're enjoying the content. I have Mahjong competition rules coming out in October. I'm, I've joined a group locally, so I'm playing live with Mahjong competition rules. I'm excited about that. The, it, it's uh, complex, um, but it's a lot of fun. I'm super excited to improve my skill set and grow my knowledge base for different styles of Mahjong, and that's one way to do it. So join me, if you will, and listen, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, be sure to click subscribe and then click the bell. The little gray bell will show up after you subscribe. Click that bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next live stream, may all your picks be keepers.